I'm Don Watson, the John Oxley Library Fellow for 2012. My project is a biographical dictionary called Queensland Architects of the 20th Century, 1900 to 1950, with entries on individual architects, partnerships and companies who employed architects. Rather than summarise any of, or all of the 700 entries, I'm going to speak about the Anzac Cottage Trust, which I was researching when I was asked to speak. It was a community response to the casualties of World War I. Before any cottages could be built, the trust was absorbed into the Queensland War Council, an umbrella organisation with concerns ranging from enlistment to repatriation. In New South Wales, Houses for War Widows were built by the Voluntary Workers Association, whose members included two Queensland architects, Roy Brown and Duncan Hodge. But I was interested in the architects of the Queensland cottages, which were built on donated sites using volunteer labour and donated materials. 54 of the cottages were built and Strathurn at Alderley is on the Queensland Heritage Register. Funds were raised also by Benefit Nights, a Get Rich Quick machine and the newly instituted Golden Casket. To promote the cottages, a model was made by Victor Day. Their construction became a community celebration with brass bands, school parades, and stump capping and handovers by celebrities. Volunteers worked half day Saturday and all day Sunday. They were transported by marchant lorries and fed with pineapple hams from JC Hutton. Number one was built on the Duke of Cornwall and York estate at Everton Park. The donation of materials was simplified by the offer of a ready to erect house from Brown and Broad. It was probably their Baku stripped of its side verandas. Brown and Broad, who employed architects, will have their own entry, as will E.J. Chilton, the foreman for their construction, whose own company, the Austral Ready to Erect Construction Company, provided materials for later cottages. Number one took four weekends to build and was handed over on the 12th of August 1917. What's in this research for the library? The construction and opening of the cottage was filmed by a pioneering cinematographer, Sidney Cook. As newsreel footage, this film was shown at the Brisbane Stadium and at Cook's own picture theatres. The library knew little about Sidney Cook, and although we were unable to track down the footage of this film, a descendant has now provided photographs for the library's collection. In addition to the entries I've already mentioned, what's in this research for the dictionary? When Sidney Cook's descendant visited the library, he brought with him a prospectus for the Crystal Gardens Picture Theatre in the Valley. Previously, I'd looked for the architect for this building, but had been unsuccessful. But amongst the material the descendant provided was a prospectus for the company, which included this sketch by the theatre's well-known architect, G.H.M. Addison. It's been a pl pleasure and a privilege to work in the library for the last year. Without the help of the Library Foundation, the project would not have been undertaken. With the help of librarians, the content of the dictionary has been greatly enhanced. Thank you. Thank you.